In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a website for free with USA hosting. So normally you would have to pay for a hosting service and a domain name, but I'm going to show you how to get this all for free. Even if you don't have any experience uh, building a website, this will still be a very helpful tutorial to create a free website in the USA. So if you're interested in finding out how to create a free website, then keep watching the video till the end. So let's get started. So first of all, you want to go to your browser and then you want to go to the following website. The website we are going to be using is called fantheon.io. Just type it in like this, fantheon.io. There we go. And this is the website. So basically, Fantheon provides free hosting with a free domain where you can create your website on without paying anything with hosting in the United States. So once you're on the website, you can go ahead and hit uh, get started right here. And then I'm going to select uh, connect with Google. You can just enter in all the information that you want. There we go. So we're going to sign in. So from here, we can start creating our own website. So first I'm going to enter in the name, I enter in this as well and then hit continue like this there we go and now as you can see it's going to load into the dashboard and here it already says welcome to fantheon so now what you want to do you want to hit create new site over here and now we are going to create our site so here you can enter in the site name so i'm doing the um how to test 23 just uh, as an example and then this is very important choose the region for the site so as you, as you probably live in the United States, you can select United States and then you can hit continue. And this basically means that the hosting platform is in the United States, which means that your website will be very fast because United States has very fast servers for Fantheon. And there we go. Now we can choose our CMS for the website and I'm going to select WordPress and I will recommend you to use WordPress as well because it's a, f a great website builder. You can do all different kinds of things with it without actually coding or doing something like this. So we're going to hit deploy and there we go. Now it's going to load into our website and we can start building from there. So this will may take a couple of minutes to install, but I'll get back to you when it's done. So there we go, now it's completed, and now you can hit visit your Fantheon site dashboard. So you can hit the big yellow button, and there we go. This is the um, basically dashboard on Fantheon to go into your website. So what you want to do from here, you want to hit site admin, and now we are going to install WordPress uh, with the language and our name. So basically select the language, I'm going to do English United States, then I'm going to select the uh, site title, though I'm going to do how to test 23. Then a username, this is Ryan, and then a password and your email. So then you can hit install WordPress and this doesn't take very long. This just takes a couple of uh, seconds. There we go. Now we can log in with our username and the password like this and then hit login. And there we go, now we are on the WordPress side of our website. So when we copy our link like this and go to the, uh, the domain name, you can see that this is currently how the website looks and it is live right now. Everyone can see this when I type in your this domain name. So I'm going to show you how to change this and make it look good. So first of all, go to your dashboard and then go to um, pages first because we want to delete the sample page and the privacy policy. So you want to uh, basically both select them, then go to bulk actions, move to trash and hit apply. And as you can see, they're gone. You can do this with posts as well. Select it, bulk actions, move to trash and hit apply. So from here, we can go uh, to uh, plugins over here. You can delete these two plugins because we won't need them and they take a lot of space. So from here, you want to hit add new under install plugins, add new, and then search for Elementor. That's what we want to install first. So this is the Elementor website builder that we are going to use for WordPress. It's a very good builder and I recommend you to use it because it's very easy. You can do a lot of things with it. So now you can hit just the uh, X button over here and then you can go to appearance. 
when you're in appearance, you can see that this is the active team. But we don't want this team because it is not a good team, believe me. So hit add new and then type in Astra at the top right corner because we want to install this team called Astra. This is definitely the best team for WordPress and almost every professional agency on WordPress is using this. So from here, uh, you now want to go back to plugins and we're going to install another plugin. So hit add plugin over here again and then type in Astra again. And then you can see starter templates, Elementor, Beaver Builder, Gutenberg and Bracey templates. You want to install this theme or this plugin, excuse me, then hit activate. And now we can go to library under starter templates. And from here you want to select the page builder Elementor we just installed. And there we go. You can see all this very nice templates that you can use for your website. So you want to select free because we don't want to pay for it. And now you can just select a theme that you like. So I'm going to do an outdoor adventure, but there are a ton of good uh, themes that you can use. I'm going to install this and then hit import complete site and then hit delete previously imported site and then hit import. So now you can um, enter in your name and then I build websites for myself and your work email and then submit and start importing. And there we go. Now we just have to wait and I'll get back to you when it's done. There we go. It says imported successfully. The website imported successfully. And when you hit view site, as you can see, this is the same domain name and now your website looks like this. But I know you don't want this text. You don't want these buttons. We maybe want to customize it. So what you want to do, you want to go back to your dashboard you can go over here and then hit dashboard and from here you want to go to pages and as you can see it added all these pages from the template so we can go to home and then hit edit with elementor so you can do that with all pages hit Ele edit with elementor and then you can customize it as you can see it's a very easy drag and drop system that you can use on every page so let's say we want to change the text to the and the best um, uh, shoes, something like that. You can change it to anything. You get the point. It's very easy to change. You can change the pictures over here. And Elementor is definitely not hard. You can easily customize it to whatever you want. So basically, if this video helped you out to create a free website in the USA, then please leave a like, please subscribe, and see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.